Reverse parking. That space. It's so gloomy, January. I need some sunshine. You need to concentrate. I suggest you spend the rest of your shift in quiet contemplation. I assume you've seen this. Yeah, it's rather excessive. Excessive, crude, coarse, not to mention exploitative. Serves a purpose, though. It's never a good idea to let the patients set the agenda. No, but in the light of our new FT status, the publicity will be beneficial. A PR operation. Brave new world, Mr. Griffin. Pioneering clinical trial, teaching, training. Sentiments to impress the governors? Sentiments all good universities aspire to. I've been toying with a strap line. Your health is our business. Certain ring to it. Henry, you know I'm committed to training. That remains to be seen. As long as it's done for the right reasons. <laughs> as long as it's effective. Effective? After what I've just witnessed in the car park, I think your training standards are slipping. Good morning. I'm Henrik Hansen, Director of Surgery. It's Mr. Griffin who will be coordinating the procedure. You must be Cindy. My little fighter. I recognize you both from your picture in the paper. Sub story. Only way to get things done. Hmm. The good news is that no more chemotherapy. The results of the biopsy are rather less encouraging. Cindy's liver has enlarged. Increased levels of bilirubin in the blood and urine. Cholestatic jaundice? Uh, a uh, complication of chemo. Indeed. We can still go ahead. The baseline tests have been extensive. I think we should proceed with extreme caution. Yes, the surgery itself is relatively straightforward. Do bear with me. I'll summarise for Mr. Malik's benefit. Recessive dystrophic epidermolysis bullosa, inherited connective tissue disease, which causes severe skin fragility. Stem cells will be collected from your sister, Kay. Bone marrow harvest under general anaesthesia, transfused into Cindy. Systemic correction of the underlying genetic fault. Nurse Lane here has been trained for the specialist care provided, so I'll leave you in her capable hands. Keep her away from anything with wheels. Two hearts. It's worth a few stairs, isn't it? Previous heterotopic transplant. The injuries caused damage to the donor heart. Left ventricle function is severely diminished. Mm. And we need to remove the hematoma. It's risky surgery, isn't it? With both hearts connected. No Miss Naylor to offer an opinion. And steal our thunder. We'll run some more tests. Remember it's the members dinner for the CTU funding tonight? Yes, um, presentation's ready. I just need to put the dress on. I'd like to read it. As soon as it's printed. My fault's distracting Miss Shaw with mundane medical matters. I do hope the overnight hasn't compromised domestic arrangements. No, Rappi knows how important this is. Mr Hope won't be joining you. Passing on the baton, I think is the phrase he used. You mean I have to pitch for funding by myself? Well, within your capabilities, I'd go with you myself, but I have a mountain of paperwork. I'd be happy to step in. I'm sure Miss Shah doesn't need hand-holding. No, she doesn't. Oh, we're sure to get some interest. Two of us work in the room. Double our chances. Money's in the bag. Surprised you own a suit, Mr. Douglas. Oh, I'm full of surprises. You mail me a copy when you've finished? Sure. Oh, come on, Mr. Griffin. Just let me scrub in. You won't even know I'm there. It is going to be crowded. I'm sure we can find room for one more. After all, teaching is about opportunity. Unless you have any special objection. None at all. Come in. need to talk to you. Surgery went well today? Yes, surgery was good. A day of sterling curative endeavour. Henrik, I'm pulling out of the members' dinner. Are you? My patient needs to be closely monitored. Which is why he'll be moved to intensive care. And I should be there. Accomplished as you are, Miss Shah, this hospital can function without you. £10,000. The price of a life saved by the CTU. 
So now we're costing mortality rates. It's a random figure. There are circumstantial fluctuations. CTU makes sound financial sense. But with Darwin functioning healthily, perhaps funds could be better deployed elsewhere. I rescued that bloody ward. A victim of your own success. I'm saving lives and saving you money. And you're prepared to leave the presentation in the hands of Mr. Douglas? No. Unless potential donors see that crusading passion, the CTU is doomed. I suggest you consider your options. And how's Miss Shah coping with the setback? Frustrated. After all her efforts to save the guy. I'll take up some of the slack. Eddie? You sure you're up to this? Why wouldn't I be? The future of CTU rests in your hands, Miss Shah. I am well aware of that. I have every faith in you. And I'll be in touch if there's any change. We can practice the pitch in the car. Your clinical strategy. I still have misgivings. And whenever appropriate, I shall air them. And whenever appropriate, I wouldn't have it any other way. I ran into Michael Spence today. I see. Henrik, you've got to be careful. You can't possibly believe that he's changed. I am fully aware of the strengths and failings of Mr. Spence, as I am of yours, Mr. Griffin. There's never any doubt about your skills as a teacher today. Your team were a great credit to you. <clears throat> Dr. Petrenko. You got the email. My CBD. Received and duly noted. Mm, Mr. Spence was busy. Tied up with two words. I was under pressure. We always are. <laughs> Settling back in? Yeah, no place like home. You were on AAU today. I was helping out. Yes, that wasn't the deal. <laughs> Hanson. Yes, that's right. Mr. Zapulo. I see. Thank you for letting me know.